Hey folks, I'm warning you now, I've never, ever, ever been more frustrated with a battle than I was with this one. I just wanted to rip my freaking hair out, so if that's not something you want to watch, then skip this one. I'm sorry. The next battle should hopefully be happier. But anyway, looking at his team, I think, okay, this is going to be a good battle. Um, he's using, you know, all lower tier Pokemon, so I figure we're going to be probably pretty evenly, um, evenly matched. So I'm looking forward to this battle. Uh, I'm really excited. I'm going to try, uh, you know, a move, uh, lead strategy that I don't usually use, um, and it's going to be nice, and here we go. So I lead off with my uh, Mr. Mime and my Licky Licky, my Soundproof Licky Licky, and I decide I'm going to go ahead and get off a Teeter Dance first turn. Um, Tom, my Licky Licky, meanwhile, I'm going to just have do Curse just to see. I don't know what he's going to do this first turn, so I just decide I'm going to Curse, see what happens. Um, his Togekiss goes for Follow Me, uh, which is kind of to be expected. Um, probably, you know, Tom, maybe not the best Pokemon uh, out, considering that, um, his um, Togekiss is going to follow me and make all the attacks directed towards him. Anyway, uh, he takes the opportunity to set up a sub, which is, you know, good strategy for him. Although, um, yeah, I mean, that was a pretty good strategy, getting behind a sub. So, really, my um, follow me is only going to confuse one Pokemon, that being his little Togekiss. So now Tom gets off a curse, uh, plus one attack, plus one uh, defense, and the speed doesn't matter because Licky Licky is slow anyway, plus I'm pretty sure it runs a minus speed nature. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call back uh, my Mr. Mime and send out uh, Lantern, uh, predicting a uh, Thunderbolt directed towards uh, Licky Licky. Anyway, uh, he doesn't get confused this turn and gets off another follow me, which is, you know, tiny bit annoying, but 50-50, doesn't really matter. His, um, he gets off a nasty plot, uh, with his, uh, Raichu, and, you know, that's a good strategy, as long as you're behind the wall. Uh, so, unfortunately, since, um, unfortunately my, uh, plus one, uh, power up is going to be directed towards his Togekiss, uh, he gets a second turn of no confusion, and, you know, okay, it's, you know, it's not the end of the world, I'm still doing okay, and, you know, there's a bit of hacks that makes up for it, his plus two focus blast misses, and I'm gonna go ahead and get off a surf here to break off a sub, so I'm thinking, okay, this is gonna go well now, um, yeah, Togekiss takes some damage, and I am almost positive that that breaks a sub, and it does, yeah, so that's excellent, so I'm thinking, okay, well, the hacks is kinda working on my favorite, it's kinda balanced, so he gets some recovery with Citrus Berry, um, Tom is not gonna take too much damage, it actually takes practically none, um, because Tom is such amazing Pokemon. Anyway, Focus Blast, directed actually at Togekiss, does more than Power Whip did, so, uh, and I get the Spit Up drop, so again, things are going well, I figure. Uh, Togekiss is confused and hits itself in the confusion, so I'm like, yes, my hacks pays off. And so now his Zapit gets off a of Focus Blast, hits my Tom, uh, and takes it out, so... You know, that you can't call that hacks, you can't call an inaccurate move hitting hacks, I guess. But it's a little bit annoying. I get off a Discharge, um, which does take out his really annoying Togekiss. Uh, I keep calling it Togekiss, it's a Togetic. Sorry about that, folks. Um, so I take out his Togetic, and that's going to be kind of nice. Um, and looking over my team, trying to decide who to set out next, I decide I'm going to go ahead and send out Nesse, my Loch Ness Monster. Unfortunately, he sends out his Brute Root, his Venusaur, and so that maybe was not the best idea. Um, but I go ahead and use Protect this turn, figuring that he's going to attack with a Grass-type move. Um, and so that's, and indeed, actually, he uses Focus Blast, uh, which would have been bad news and, uh, as well. His Brute Root gets off a of Pedal Dance. I don't remember whether Pedal Dance is one of those moves that you get to target. I have a feeling it's not, though. And, okay, another bit of hacks, my Hydro Pump misses. Um, and I really wish it had hit, because it would have taken out his, um, it would have definitely taken out his, uh, whatchamacallit, Raichu, which is the bane of my existence right now. Anyway, predicting a, a Frenzy Plant or Focus Blast against... Um, I don't, I didn't mean Frenzy, no, Pedal Dance, um, against, yeah, so Pedal Dance, uh, hits Lantern, I'm pretty sure you can't target it, and I'm pretty sure it's like Outrage, it just hits whatever Pokemon at random, so that's a little bit of hacks there, although I do successfully block his Focus Blast, so that's nice. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and send out Aramaki here, um, his Zapit is now going to use Thunderbolt, which is going to KO my Emily. I was thinking he wasn't running Thunderbolt, because why wouldn't you use 100% accurate Thunderbolt, um, versus Focus Blast? Um, in fact, Thunderbolt does more damage, um, 
against, you know, against, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, you know, against, uh, okay, anyway, I take out his Raichu, finally, 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 and so I'm thinking, okay, now is where I turn this battle around. Fruit Root goes off and gets off of a uh, pedal dance, hits Aramaki, does about half, not quite half, eh, and now he's confused due to the fatigue, but he snaps out of the confusion. Um, but it doesn't matter, I'm faster, I figure I can probably take it out with a, uh, with a stab, super effective psychic. I'm gonna go ahead and send out Sifra this next turn. Um, and anyway, he's gonna go ahead and send out Yanma. And so I'm like, okay, well, that's easy choices for me. Uh, gonna go ahead and psychic against, psychic against Brute Root. Um, and gonna go ahead and rock slide against both of his Pokemon, sh which should hopefully kill Yanma. Anyway, he makes a stupid play here. Uh, he didn't realize that Soundproof blocked um, Bug Buzz. Plus, he might not have thought I was running Soundproof because it's not every uh, Mr. Mime that runs Soundproof. Anyway, I don't actually take him out with Psychic, which is really surprising. And he goes for the Frenzy Plant, so he's running Frenzy Plant. Uh, he was obviously predicting to die this turn, I guess. And that's gonna take out my um, Soul Rod. Which is, you know, it's annoying, but it happens. Um, and so now I'm down to my last two Pokemon, my Nessie. Uh, anyway, he gets the Hypnosis, and it hits! And I'm like, are you serious? Hypnosis has, like, 55% accuracy. It's the least accurate move ever! How can it not kill? And I don't kill it! I can't even kill this thing! You know, it doesn't, it's not like it has good defenses. And so now he gets off an Air Slash against my Aramaki. And I'm like, look, don't flinch, don't flinch. And it flinches! And I'm like, what in the heck? At this point, I am, you know, pulling a full-on Bobby Knight. I have thrown my chair uh, across the room. I am screaming. I am, uh, you know, it is a miracle I did not turn off my Wii and, you know, throw it through a window. I just couldn't believe it. That was the worst hack ever at the worst possible time. I mean, it's not like I could have won the battle anyway. Ah! Uh, anyway, sorry about that. Um, it happens. Uh, anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. I hope you at least enjoyed that little freak out there.